Now to the corridors of justice where the High Court has set aside a five-day jail term without the option of a fine imposed on Didakas Maloa, a junior editor with an online news publication, Tuko. Maloa was jailed by a magistrate's court after being found to have allegedly published misleading information on proceedings before the court. The editor was imprisoned for five days after allegedly declining to publish an apology for a misleading article on the National Youth Service corruption case. Similarly, Kenya Broadcasting Corporation KBC Chief Editor Millicent War appeared before Magistrate Eunice Nyutu after she was summoned to show cause why she should not be punished for allegedly broadcasting a misleading piece on court proceedings. Through lawyer Dunstan Omari, a war told the court to give her time to go through the proceedings before she can sufficiently defend herself. In a complaint filed by the ODPP, the two news outlets were found to be in contempt of court after allegedly publishing information on a witness in the NYS case against PS Lillian Omolo and others. The hearing continues on Thursday. An apology is a management question of media houses. It has never been about editors or about reporters or correspondents. An attempt to explain the structure of how media houses operate was not listened and that editor was sentenced to serve five days without an option of a fine. An editor doing his job has slept at the prison. Today, the learned judge has vacated those orders. In a, from the conduct of this matter, the days of Bernard Junga, when people could be prosecuted and be convicted without them being heard. We are seeing a very assertive judiciary jailing editors.